Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open. And got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. The Bohemian Grove is a camp in Northern California where 2,000 of the nation's most powerful men in politics, media, and various other industries meet and spend two weeks together every summer. People like George W. Bush, Richard Nixon, and Walter Cronkite are admitted members. There are some very odd and occult-like practices that occur at the club, including a mock human sacrifice called the Cremation of Care that has been recorded on video by Alex Jones and John Ronson. I encourage you to look it up and research it for yourself. The rest of this video will show you every time a politician has been confronted and asked about the Bohemian Grove. The politician's responses may surprise you. I'll tell you a couple of stories about fraud. The Bohemian Club, the, as you say, the Bohemian Club, that's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. Can I get a quick autograph here? What's this picture of? I actually don't remember. It's you at the Bohemian Grove. Okay. You told me that oh, yeah. uh, I'm delusional. You know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives it's not that fantasy. have nothing it's to touch with. Nice to, video nice to have you here. Bye bye. So you were there. Can we talk yes, to you about it, sir? Yep. No questions at all. Comment on Obama through about immigration. Any questions? Any answers on the Bohemian Grove? You never no. want to talk to me about it. I'm not going to stop asking the question. Who do you think that uh, might be a good person to consider for a uh, VP? When are you going to open up on the Bohemian Grove? Bye-bye. You might as well just answer the question. It's going to be a lot easier. People are just going to, it's going to be on YouTube. People are just going to speculate that there's something wrong unless you tell us there's nothing wrong. Come on. Come on. I'm just trying to be transparent and open. That's all I'm trying to do, Neil. You know, and you're kind of making yourself look kind of guilty. We thought, you know, it looks like there's not a lot of people here. We could at least, you know, have a conversation. You know, talk to you, if that's okay. Uh, we just want to end all the speculation and theories. We, we want to end that. Goodbye, but by not answering, Goodbye. you kind of make you. it look Goodbye. bad. Thank you very much. It's just a question. I understand. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not in here. You know. Thank you. I, I try. I, you know, like, we don't know what's happening at the Bohemian Grove. There's all these theories out there. The only way to get the truth is to go to somebody and to ask them the question. But when they don't answer the question, it's kind of sad. Uh, I know you consider yourself a Catholic, but what happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? <laughs> the New York Post says uh, that male prostitutes are shipped in into the Bohemian Grove. Can you tell us what happens there? You actually believe all this junk? Bill Clinton said that Republicans run around naked in the woods there. As you say, the Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. And you don't want to know what Richard Nixon said about the place, the place you attended. It's a secret society. Can you tell us at least who invited you? You know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives it's not that fantasy. have nothing it's to touch with. Nice to, video nice to have you here. Bye bye. You can't answer the question? Bye -bye. You can't? Why can't you answer the question? You. See you later. David Gergen, top presidential advisor to Ford, Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and Bill Clinton. We couldn't believe our luck. It just so happens that David Gergen is also a prominent member of the Bohemian Grove the offshoot of Skull and Bones.
This insider of insiders, a staple of the White House for 22 years, got very upset when we brought up Bohemian Grove to him. He didn't deny its existence. He didn't deny that he was a member. He didn't deny the rituals. He just became angry and didn't act very gentlemanly. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were, the Republicans were criticizing you, oh, what about Bohemian Grove? And then, you countered, uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before-mentioned Washington Times article where he said, I didn't run around naked like they do. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. <laughs> Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But there's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took, we deserve to know? You, you took an, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials you, I'm sorry. You policy. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> sir, everything. Uh, you, I, I, I don't. I don't owe you this comment. I know. I appreciate you, you, you. You have. You. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh. All right. Listen. Oh. Listen. You go around and, and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets, and that's, that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine. But don't ask others to respect you for it. If you, want to, you, you can do it. You're a free American like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, one. Mr. Gergen? I'm sorry. Nobody says policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here? <laughs> yeah. That is a three-pointer. Woo. <laughs> Here's a call I made to Rush Limbaugh, trying to get him on record about the Bohemian Grove, where he also played dumb. John in San Diego, you're next on the EIB Network. Hello. Since I have you on the line, Rush, have you seen the video of the Bohemian Grove ceremony that Alex Jones produced that's on Google Video? Uh, no, been invited to Bohemian Grove, but I've never, I've never been there. And I've not, I've not seen the video. Now, at first he plays dumb, but then when I press him again, you can see he gets quite aggravated and then goes on a rant showing that he does know all about the Bohemian Grove. Do you know about the uh, activities within the Grove? Can you talk about that? No, because I don't, I've never been there. All, I, all somebody... I know, oh, look at, here's, all I know is that it's a bunch of elitists and power brokers who conduct secret meetings to take over the world, and they run around nude. It's all men, no women are allowed, and they run around, and they, you, can, you can find them going to the bathroom on the side of trees and so forth, and they have people come out and make speeches to them and all that. Uh, and I know it was started by um, uh, members of the San Francisco Symphony, way, way, way back, who were shunned from San Francisco society, so they formed their own little club there um, up, uh, up in Northern California. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I've... Where do you where do you find these people? Hey, David, just just really quickly, do you think yeah. it's a conflict of interest that you're part of the Bohemian Grove and also uh, reporting? No. Why not? 
a secret society. I have a quick question. How would you compare this Republican convention thus far I, I, to I, ones in the past? Real quick. Uh, tonight, we'll, we'll, the, the big test is tonight. And we'll, we'll know after tonight. And what are you looking for tonight? What, if he gives a home run of a speech, it'll be a, they'll have had a terrific convention. We'll wait and see. You answered that question. What about the Bohemian Grove, sir? Hey, David, uh, can we get some transparency about the Bilderberg Group? Can we get at least what happens there? Are you crazy? No, I, I'm not crazy. But what happens there? You have there? no idea what you're talking about. Yes, I do. The Bohemian Grove, you attended. Uh, there's a lot of weird uh, stories coming out about the Bohemian Grove. We just want to know what happens there. Excuse me. Seems interesting the most powerful people come together in secret. Excuse me, sir. The New York Post says male prostitutes are shipped in. And other publications, porn stars are speaking out about it. But it isn't. It isn't just not the Randy Park of Town Hall, but the upper class in San Francisco is that way. The Bohemian Grove that I attend on time to time. The Easterners and the others that come there. But it is the most faggy goddamn thing you will ever can ever imagine in San Francisco crowd because it's just terrible. I mean, I don't want to shake hands with anybody in San Francisco. Yes, sir. Uh, first question? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you gave a keynote speech at the Bohemian Grove Club, sir. A club which openly has mock child sacrifices and satanic me, worship, sir. Can you answer my question, sir, it. please? I was I'm very pleased. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. It was a good debate. Uh, what about the I Bohemian Grove Club, though, sir? Uh, That's very was, important. They, they do mock human sacrifices there, sir, and you reported sir. being I was, there. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. Sir, why did you ignore my question, sir? Can we have open dialogue? If you want to be president, let's have an open dialogue about this. You just ignored me, sir. It's not nice. It's not. It's running up a storm about that Bohemian Grove over there. Human sacrifices, a male prostitute shipped in there yearly. I should like to know what goes on over there. That's respectable stuff. <laughs> I know, isn't it? It's disgusting. What you're doing is not respectable. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about what the, what the governor does over there yearly at Bohemian this Grove. Is a, this is about the debate. This is not an open news conference. Right. Well, with the governor, there's never an open news conference. He talks about AIDS and health care and the same stuff over and over. Governor, Bohemian Grove, actually, you, you said before that you did you did, did you or did you not attend Bohemian Grove in San Francisco? You've been ignoring this question for three and a half years, Governor. Hey, just one last question. Last time we talked, you were kind of like sweating up a storm when I brought up the Bohemian Grove. Why is that? The what? The Bohemian Grove. Everybody knows everything about Bohemian Grove. It's a odd group of naked men, and it means nothing. Can you get me invited to the Bohemian Grove? I've always wanted to see it. It's, it's usually almost every president is connected to some of those secret societies. Richard Nixon in his Nixon tapes. Republican presidents. Oh uh, no, I mean other uh, Democrats have what also. What Democratic been there. presidents have gone I have to Bohemian to, I have to Grove? Think right now. So are you admitting that you know about the Bohemian Grove? I know about Bohemian Grove. Everybody does. There've been articles about it. A friend of mine went there 20 years ago and wrote an article for Spy Magazine about it. It's a fucking joke. Bohemian Grove's a total fucking joke. It's just naked idiots. Who gives a shit what they're doing? sacrifices? Who cares what they're doing? Who cares? Do you, what do you, do? you don't give a shit what's in Dick Cheney's heart or mind. What do you care? Why would you care? They're running the world. You get to vote. Do I care if a psycho's running the country or not? Yes. Who's having satan well, satanic rituals? You, what, here's what you get. What you get in, you know, what you get in politics everywhere in the world is egomania. You know, and so they're they're all egomaniacs. So you get to choose from this group of egomaniacs. That's it. There's no other choice, and that's who you get to choose from. That's the deal. You know, and it's not unique to this country. They're egomaniacs everywhere else. That's who it attracts. You know? Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it.